Hi guys and welcome to a new vlog. So guys, so guys, <laughs> this week is going to be really intense because the first weekend of February, which for you will be next weekend, I don't even know what time it is, but I have to go to Spain. I'm leaving the 31st of January. So since I'm leaving, I had lots of things to prepare before traveling. I know you guys ask me this question all the time and I have never had time to answer properly. So this video is going to be an special, so to speak, because I am going to tackle lots of things in a very short period of time. And you always ask me, Fran, how do you manage to do so many things in so little time? <laughs> so this week, this, in this video, I'm going to teach you, or not teach you because I'm not a teacher, but I'm going to share all the things that I know regarding on organizing yourself when you have to do lots of, lots, lots of things uh, in no time. So this is me, you guys. First of all, look at me, look at me. Just like stay calm, calm yourself, take a cup of coffee. I don't know if coffee is a calming beverage, beverage uh, per se, but just like breathe and just like relax because everything's going to be all right. The second thing you have to do is write everything down, guys. All the things that you have to do right now, write them down because in our minds, they might seem like a lot, but one, once we write things down, we have a better understanding of what we're going to face, what we're going to fight against. So write everything down. Once you wrote... Once you write everything down uh, uh, and your voice is leaving you, um, just analyze the things that you have to do, which is something that I'm going to do with you right now. So you guys, welcome to my planner. This is my planner, by the way. And this is these are all the things that I have to do before the trip. So I have to paint all the t-shirts, which are eight t-shirts. So finish the t-shirt challenge. I have to film two videos because one of them is going to be uploaded um, once I'm leaving. Like, no, <laughs> because one of the videos uh, I need to upload it uh, while I'm away. Uh, also, I need to do the branding of my new website. I'm trying to have my own online shop, so I have to do that before I leave. I need to finish the cat protection commission. Is that how you write commission? Yes. Um, I need to prepare the workshop for Spain. I need to do a live stream for my patrons before I leave. And I need to record and edit the patron Q&A video. So when I, I told you to organize the things that you have to do is just like set prioritize. Prioritize your things, set priorities. I am not even talking properly. So for example, there's nothing I can do about the live stream because that live, live stream is going to happen on Sunday. So there's nothing I can do now, right now on a Tuesday regarding the live stream. So no live stream uh, on the time being. So no live stream right now. But the things that I need to do right now, for example, are the t-shirts. Why? because the t-shirts need time to um, get dry. And also I need to take pictures of the t-shirts today because I have no t-shirts for today. Um, I think in that regard, well, I'm already filming one of those two videos right now with you guys. The branding website can wait because uh, I need to fill up my time once the t-shirts are getting dry. So I can do that um, at that moment. Also the Cats Protection Commission, even though it's really important, uh, is not due until Friday, so I can wait a little bit. Uh, and also the workshops as well. And I can record a Patreon. Oh my God, my I'm shaking a lot. <laughs> Uh, lots of coffee. Uh, the Patreon q and I can record it tomorrow, even though uh, I needed to record it today. But I think it's more important the t-shirts because, again, they need time to dry. So once you set priorities and you assign days and times to all of the things that you have to do, it's more manageable to tackle, guys. Because right now you see that everything is important. Everything has to be done today. And to be honest, most of the times, most of the things are not due until a few days. So set, priori set priorities and timings for each task. And yeah, guys, we can totally do this.
guys and good morning today i have two more t-shirts to paint they're ready to go and while they are getting dry <laughs> i'm going to record a patreon q a video when you're trying to tackle lots of things at the same time try to prioritize the things that take the most the most bo boring ones or the ones that uh they need to get done first because they take longer for example if you're exporting a video if you need paint to get dry or you need to wait for something in order to get like be, be finished in some way prioritize those things first so you can do other things while those things are getting done in this case me waiting for the painting to get dry or the video to be exporting um, so that's the plan for today I just had lunch, I finish filming, finish filming the Q&A because that's what you do. Um, and now um, I need to edit the Q&A. It's a really easy editing, it involves almost no editing. But before that, I need to paint the outline of this one. Soggy cereal is the worst. Uh, this one, and after three layers of white and three layers of this uh, gorgeous light like I think I finally ready to do the outlines of this one and besides that I have no more t-shirts to go so far I went to Oxfam and I bought a couple which also needs to wash and oh my god those are going to be the last ones while I'm painting these babies I'm going to put my headphones on to listen to the audio of the video so I can tackle two things at once Am I a working machine? Am I addicted to what I do? Is this dangerous to my health? Anyway, this is what I do to be productive, productive IF. Today I have to export the video, the Patreon Q&A that I did yesterday. I have to work on some um, adjustments because I'm doing an illustration for cat protection. They have a magazine and they asked me to do an illustration for them. So I need to make some adjust adjustments to that sketch before painting it and get an approval. And after that, I have to paint some t-shirts. This is the thing, guys. This is the wonderful world that you have to <laughs> incorporate to your life, which is time management. The first thing, for example, that I have to do right now is make the adjustments to the sketch because it's the most urgent project right now. Uh, but I can't do that if the video is exporting, obviously. So I need to do this sketch first. Then while the video is exporting, which is going to take several hours, I'm going to start painting and doing more designs for the t-shirts. And that should be it. Okay, guys, so I'm exporting the video, as you can see. Yeah, a very weird way of exporting a video. <laughs> um, and right now I need to do the last three uh, t-shirts, the last three sketches, designs for the last three... Oh my god, the, la <laughs> the last three t-shirts, I can't believe it. I have this design, guys, I don't know if it's going to work. But I love the idea of doing like a paper doll... Um, not gone wrong, but with a mysterious <laughs> hobby. So I like the idea that it's a normal girl at day, at daylight, but she also is a murderer or like a thief or something like that. So all of these items are very normal and usual, but I'm also, I also want to attach like a mask or a knife. <laughs> I thought it was a great twist. By the way, these are the past sketches for the past um, t-shirts. I don't know if I want to do this, but I thought it was funny. And this was the sketch I did while standing up um, and was the result of the t-shirt you just you saw. And these are the other sketches. I don't know if is, this is interesting for you guys. Um, but yesterday I uploaded this one and I love the result. You guys really loved this one jazz was telling me that this is a school shirt which i had no idea i mean here in england um they use uniforms and this is part of the uniform this uh white shirt and i love the idea of doing two designs um each side 
so I love how it turned out. I, I just wish it fit me because it's really, really small. It's a 12 size, so it's probably for a very thin person or a child. <laughs> um, so I think this is it, basically. I love this one, guys. I'm really proud of this one, uh, how it turned out, because it has lots of layers. I had to do three layers of white and three layers of... Um, lilac or like that uh, lavender color on top because since it's a gray t-shirt you need at least three layers of white to really stand out. Right now I'm going to work on the three remaining t-shirts while the video is exporting so wish me luck you guys. Today I have to finish painting two t-shirts and after that I only have to do one, the last one guys. Can you actually believe the can you actually believe this? Hi guys and happy Monday. Today is Monday obviously and oh my god you guys I need to draw and paint the last the last t-shirt. I can't believe it. I can't believe we're almost done with the challenge. Ed and I are traveling to Spain this Wednesday so the day after tomorrow. So we need to do lots of things. I restrain myself from working this weekend only because I want to make sure that we're both were together doing this on working hours and not working during weekends. But this is this is the list, you guys. The list that, of all the things that I need to do. So I am one t-shirt to go for the uh, challenge. Um, I still need to film one of the videos because one of those two videos is the video that you're watching right now. Uh, I haven't done anything running from the website and I haven't prepared the workshop from uh, to for Spain yet but all of the rest is done or almost done which is great so I'm going to keep you posted about the t-shirt between you and me guys I have no idea what to draw I'm out of ideas <laughs> So I have no idea what I'm going to draw for today. And it's today, it's in a couple of hours. We can do this, it's the last day we can do this. So I am officially done with the challenge. I am done with the challenge. <laughs> uh, I finished the challenge. I painted my last t-shirt. It felt very surreal. It didn't feel like the last t-shirt, if that makes sense. And I planned in some way the script, not I me, mean, not the script, but I wrote down all of your questions from last week's videos, because last week's videos last week's video because I asked you to ask me questions regarding 30-day challenges 
um, no matter in which profession or areas, like illustration or writing or whatever. And I think I have a video. So instead of answering those, those questions today, I am going to answer them on a special, so to speak. I'm going to answer all of your questions regarding the t-shirt challenge and how you can do or manage or tackle, organize, prepared and motivate yourself with a 30 day uh, challenge. Your questions, guys, are insane. <laughs> They're really good. So I think I'm going to dedicate one entire video um, regarding challenges. And I am very excited about that. And right now I got to prepare, I need to prepare the workshop I'm going to be doing this week in Spain. I mean, for you, it was last week. Last week or this week? It was this week. It was on Wednesday. No, well, this weekend. What? Well, God, the time. Yeah. Um, and I think tomorrow I'm going to film next week's video. And that's the whole uh, to-do list that I had. So yeah, you guys, we did it. <laughs> Hey guys, look, look my hair. I had a haircut. It's really nice because one of you guys asked me on my last question uh, how I was going to celebrate the ending of my challenge. If this is, was one of the things that I really wanted to do. I hadn't had a haircut since a year ago, so I think it was time. A lot of you guys asked me about my time management app and I'm using now the Pomodoro, Pomodoro method which is a lifesaver. The one I'm using right now, I think it's called Jiro, is for free. I've been using it for, I think, a year or something. And it's seriously, guys, the best thing in this world. You work for 25 minutes and then you rest five. You can do whatever you want and it saved me. So I wish you the best. Uh, next week's video is going to be about all related 30-day challenges. Thank you again for your questions. And I guess I'll see you next week, guys. And I have nothing else to say. Thank you for being here. Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I love you. I hope you're having a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye, guys. Bye-bye.